Hey everybody, Tom Barnish, Chicago scene in the Logan Square neighborhood. Here's some street graffiti art, as some call it. And some would even argue that it, Logan is the birthplace of street art in Chicago. So much so, it's inspired many people to do things and community activism or make a movie about it and weave in a little bit of a uh, murder mystery as well. I'm here with my friend Grant. How you doing, Grant? Doing really well, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, Grant. So you made a movie about street art and you wove in a, uh, a little bit of a complicated story, but a fun one for sure, right? Absolutely. We, want, we wanted to make a movie that showcased various Chicago neighborhoods as well as the community art that has been standing there for decades going back as far as the uh, the early 20th century but we wanted to do it not necessarily as a documentary but we wanted to tie you know a narrative thread through it so we had a, a main character of a graffiti artist and he's he's mixed up in a murder investigation while he's trying to become a community artist himself by painting masterpieces or something that isn't just a tag on a building but actually shines a light on relevant community issues as well. His masterpiece in the movie is what's behind me and this was this was painted by our three incredibly talented graffiti artists that signed on to the project. I can't thank them enough. Um, our, our graffiti artist character, his name is Lex, and this is his tribute to gentrification, especially in certain neighborhoods of Chicago that are going through it a lot. So we've got a, a polenta man that's discarded his polentas and he's traded it in for the weed, kale, sushi. <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of accoutrement up there. Exactly. Uh, so. so you mentioned earlier the reason why you were inspired by this is during the uh, civil unrest in the city. Right here in Logan Square as buildings were boarding up to protect their businesses, other business owners were doing that, but they were also commissioning these street artists to come and put something up on there to show their support. And that's kind of where you got this idea to do this. A hundred percent. I watched a graffiti artist painting a, a boarded up building and the level of time and dedication he put into it for something that he knew was going to be gone in a week, but also try to create awareness and help the cause. I knew right then and there, I got to write a movie about a graffiti artist. I don't know anything about graffiti. I don't claim to. I know who I am. So I was like, look, how do I make this relevant? Let's get some graffiti artists on board that can help us authenticate everything and do the, the pieces that are commissioned for for the movie. In addition to that, I wanted to, to showcase all of the Chicago neighborhoods that have various pieces of community art. Go Even ahead. so much though that some go back, what did you say, 90 years for some street art that has been around in the Pullman neighborhood? Uh, correct. Our, our first stop both in the movie and on the shooting schedule was, was down in Pullman and it's it's the mural that's going to be kitty corner from the, uh, the Obama Museum that um, was really there to, to link the neighborhoods of Roseland and, and Pullman. And then we sort of made our way back north and we stopped in Hyde Park and Pilsen and Fuller Park. and. Uh, we, we visited murals that um, describe the plight of the packing house worker, that, that describe struggles going on with teachers and their unions, Incredible. that describe uh, struggles going on with landlords um, and you know, the hassling of, of tenants and victimizing tenants, things like that. So we wanted the murals to really be another character. I mean, it all started with the idea of a graffiti artist and Chicago. Right, and it's helped tell the story of what's been going on in Chicago, at least for the 90 years, probably even prior to that in different ways that we just don't know about. And you wanted a gaggle of them. There was a bunch that you wanted, and you even have a book that you found that had the street art in there. But just be because of what it is and gentrification and everything else, some of those are gone, but you were able to find other ones. Show that book real quick, just because, why not, you know? Absolutely. Uh, the book that I found was Urban Art Chicago by Olivia, uh, I'm going to slaughter that last name, by Olivia Gouda and uh, Jeff Hubner. And, and the book itself is 22 years old, and, and Tom, like you are saying, it, it, it's got murals in here, and it's you know, it's it's based by neighborhood and essentially what each one of these murals signifies. Uh, the little sticky notes are the ones that we wanted to go see. As you, <laughs> you had a lot there. Well, we had a lot there that that fit the bill. I've never, um, I, I've never heard of a movie that 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 didn't wish it had more time and more money. Yeah. Right. And unfortunately, we're no exception. Um, so we had to sort of distill that list down to the ones that were a still standing, b uh, fit 
what we were trying to do in the movie and then see that we could actually access and things like that. So we, we were incredibly fortunate that we were able to get that down to uh, just over a dozen uh, for, for us to, to bop around and see. So And that's how you put together the story of your characters, but also the artwork itself because something spoke to you during that time of civil unrest and probably even prior just seeing it and just, you know, putting it in the back of your mind, but it all kind of came together for you, it seems, when they were painting them up on the uh, boarded up buildings in t anticipation of some unrest in the city. Absolutely, and you know, we see new artwork popping up in the city left and right all the time, but there's still a lot of the faded ones that, that are out there. And it was remarkable to me that a lot of the issues that some of these faded ones from decades ago are, are speaking to, these issues are still relevant today. We, yeah. you, you know, we've got uh, anti-union sentiment going on from certain corporations that various murals call, call out on. We've got um, teachers feeling disrespected and, and, and you know, wanting to, to help educate children better. I mean, a lot of these murals, even the one just half a, half a mile away, uh, Tilt on, on Fullerton, is talking about fending off the evil forces that are, are, are getting seeking, seeping into our neighborhoods and things like that, but also showing the positives that are going on in these communities as well. So, you know, it, it was a way to kind of do both, Tom. It was a way to, to center something around a new graffiti artist. You know, he's a, he's a young guy, but he's got an old school eye for community art, and that's what he wants to become. But we had a lot of fun along the way because it is still, you know, a, a narrative murder mystery, quasi yeah. weird, gritty comedy. So, very Chicago. I love it. And for people who want to support this, how is the best way for them to do that? Sure. So uh, we actually have a premiere event coming this Sunday night at uh, Logan Square, or excuse me, Logan Theater, uh, right up the road in, in Logan Square. And then uh, it will uh, steadily be hitting streaming services this summer. It's going to start with Amazon, uh, I believe, Monday next week and uh, one week from today. And then in addition to that, it will uh, over time land on iTunes excuse me, Apple TV, Google Play, uh, and, and Tubi. So you can come, you can come to the website, tagmovie.com. That will explain a lot of what the timeline looks like and, and please check it out. Awesome. Grant, thank you very much. I appreciate you doing something like this, bringing light to, uh, a, a, a medium that maybe a lot of people might just overlook just because they're so used to seeing it, but those all have messages for sure. Thank you, 100%. I'm not taking any of the credit. It goes entirely to the crew, 38 locations on a sho uh, shoestring budget. Uh, this cast and crew deserves all the gratitude in the world. Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely. And we are on one of those locations. We are literally doing this like guerrilla marketing style, but that's half the fun of this segment. T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, that's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. We'll see you guys later. Thanks, Grant. We'll see you. Thanks, Tom.